I'd like to introduce you to the Radwin Jet. The Radwin Jet base station comes in two versions, the 750 and the 250. We also call them the Pro and the Air. Inside the box comes everything you need for assembly, including a mounting bracket of cast aluminum, all the necessary hardware, and even the cable grommets for connecting the cable and sealing them so that they are waterproof. Assembly is easy and requires very few tools. Using a 13 millimeter wrench or a 13 millimeter socket uh, would be the choice for tightening the nut on the Radwin bolted assembly. The assembly itself again is lightweight and so it's easily carried and mounted on a belt or raised with a rope. Every Radwin device comes with a ground screw. This ground screw is necessary so that you can shunt any unwanted frequencies to ground and protect your unit. The Ethernet connector is recessed inside the, uh, inside the casement of the radio and then we surround it with a connector and from the connector you'll notice later that we have a cap and gland to seal the cable into place and make it a watertight seal. The Radwin Jet assembly all put together includes the mounting bracket as you see here in cast aluminum and stainless steel hardware. The bracket is configured so that you can accommodate up to a three inch diameter pipe. If additional room is needed for a four or four and a half inch pipe there are grooves on the side of the bracket and grooves through the bracket so that you can accommodate a stainless steel post clamp to go around a larger diameter pipe. The joints of the bracket are also notched. These notches help you so that you don't lose your tilt or asthma once the installation is complete. Inside the box, the Radwin product line comes with the connector, the cap and the gland to insert the, the RJ45 on the Cat5e cable. Pre-assembled cables are available from Radwin, but should you decide to make them in the field yourself, the hardware box includes this cap and gland and of course the connector for the connection point. We recommend that you use shielded Category 5e cable and shielded connectors, again to shut unwanted frequencies to ground and to give you a lifetime of long uh, good service. Installation is simple and with only a little bit of time you can see that we put together the bracket kit and the cable assembly. Afterwards when you run your cable down into the building or into your telco closet You'll connect the Radwin power over ethernet injector. These come in AC or DC versions, and they also come with the plug of your particular area around the globe. For aggregating multiple base stations together into one aggregated hub, we also offer the IDUH that has redundant power inputs. It provides power for up to six Radwin devices. Then you have two fast ethernet connectors and two SFPs for fiber so that you can accommodate to your favorite switch or router device at the hub site. 